everyone, I'm Juliana. Today we're joined by Michelle, who is an educational psychologist. Hi everyone! So Michelle, what do you think about this fidget spinner craze? I think, I personally think it's like quite fun. They said um, some students actually could relieve stress from playing with this, or like they could actually help them concentrate in class if they have something to play with. But also like there are downsides to this toy such as like it being a little bit pointy sometimes like this one yep which could harm students and the other thing is they could be distracted actually some people even put matches or like blade on them which I think is a bad idea so don't do that do it with mats but I do see a lot of teachers actually using them like to teach students and teach them phonics and math etc or like try to keep time like for students with these mm -hmm. things which motivates them to learn more yeah so we're actually combining two of these concepts fidget yeah. spinner and math and time actually yeah. <laughs> yeah let's start with our first question so i have eight fidget spinners and each one can turn for three minutes before it stops the fidget spinners start turning 20 seconds apart from the first one to the eighth one how long will all eight fidget spinners spin at the same time ideas <laughs> but I think I need to draw it out so we each of them can spin for three minutes and each of them is like 20, 20 seconds apart so if we assume this is the first one time is zero this will start when it's 20 40 